Or instead of wasting the wood resources, uh, break the doors out and put dirt there. True. Because then we also have spare doors to make a more effective villager trap. Or actually, you can make a villager generator if you do it right. Yeah, you can. Not that we really need more villagers, but... No, we have uh, we have plenty of villagers, I think. Alright. The uh, walling off also helps mark houses that we've already been in. I'm going to assume Rob. since there's a lava leak behind this uh, shop, you've been here already. Uh, actually, no. I've seen a couple of them generate like that for no reason. Oh yeah, because this chest has not been looted. Mm -hmm. But the whole building is burning down. Oh, that's good at least. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I like to think it is. Alright, so... I need... Where's my... Ah. I have no iron on me. I've got a lot of cobble, though, and I'm gonna just say to hell with this and build cobblestone tools. Well, why not? Alright, and it's not like it's gonna go to waste. Alright. Eh. I found some iron. Hooray! I mean, we have plenty of iron, it's just that it's not near me at the moment, and I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. What are they doing? Why don't I build an extended uh, motherfucker bench? <laughs> I have no idea. I've been getting, you know, horrible, horrible sleep lately. Okay, so <clears throat> what goes into an extended stone axe? It's a twigs or not twigs? I think it's planks. Ah. You think you're right. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm right. But, yeah, I mean... You know, even with things not being... I don't know what I thought I was making there. I don't know a thing I'm making there, either. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. It looks like a Thomas Hawk. Alright, so, let me... Right, make an extended stone pick while I'm at it. It's just an old, one of those old, old Warner Brothers cartoons that these days is, you know, horribly, horribly racist. I'm sure with, you know, a little Native American kid. <laughs> and since, you know, I have such a freaking large portion of my blood as Native American, I get to find it funny. <laughs> um, is it? Eh, Are enough... You? Enough that apparently when I went down to Florida to move Angel up here, the local, you know, she could actually be a carded Native American. She just doesn't look at it at all. Mm. She's something like one-eighth. Uh-huh. And she's blonde-haired and green-eyed. <laughs> and albino. But, you know, she, you know, she spent most of her childhood on or near the fucking reservations. I, I'm assuming albino is just figurative in this case. She is Irish white. Ah. Uh. And, um, but yeah, I mean, so they were asking me, what reservation do you belong to? <laughs> you know, what, you know, what tribe? And I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm not that Native American. They're like, no, you have, we know. I'm like, okay. And they're like, no, no, open your mouth. Yep, yep, look at your teeth. Like, I don't know what that means. Which is when I learned that apparently Native Americans have serrated teeth. Uh-huh. Which I have, and they all have. I don't have it as, um... Don't have it as prominently, because when I was a teenager, I thought it looked really weird and made me look like a freak, so I sanded them with a nail file. <laughs> for hours. <laughs> I thought I was some, you know, because when you're a teenager, you go, I'm slightly different than everyone know, everyone I know. I'm a hideous freak of nature. Right. You know, because there is no middle ground when you're 16. Right. Neither everything is perfectly fine or everything is wrong forever and you just want to die. But no, they were going to say, what, what a reservation, you know, what local, or what, you know, tribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, None, I'm not. I'm like, you are. I'm like, okay, they're like, no, we you, you can't, we have no proof of anything, but we would probably still offer you, you know, membership. <laughs> I'm like, that's neat. 
I, but you know, it was kind of like you know, most of her family. The all the part on the, from the reservation are pretty cool, mm. but uh, the rest of my, you know, the rest of the ones down there, you know, they are such, they are all such assholes that her uncle died the day she was moving, and we are literally like, that's so sad. Let's go. <laughs> Like, the day we were supposed to be leaving, or the day before, he died. I was like, do you want to, you know, we might be able to stay for the funeral. She was like, no. <laughs> like, okay, well. But, um. But, yeah, so, you know, anyway, old, old, I think it was Warner Brothers cartoon. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's what we were actually talking about. Yes, and, um. Yeah, it's this little Native American kid who apparently has become extremely, extremely rich somehow, and has a butler following him around, and handing him, you know, random items, and be like, you know, you're a bow, sir, you're, you know, blah, and then he hands him his tomahawk, and he goes, you're Thomas Hawk, sir. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But yeah, that's... I actually give credit to Warner Brothers for um, how they handle, you know, their old racist cartoons. Which is, they release them completely unedited, completely unchanged, with a little descriptor beforehand that says, you know, we at Warner Brothers do not believe in the statements these cartoons make. However, to, you know edit them or do you know something else or change them would be the same as saying that you know we never did this even though it was in really poor taste and bad you know and you know completely uncool so instead we're presenting them as is while saying that we know it was wrong and you know Everyone should basically be willing to admit that they made horrible, horrible mistakes in the past. So that they're not repeated. I think you got a zombie coming up on you. Yeah, motherfucker's walking around. I think he's going to try and get into the villager hole. Which is unfortunate, because it means the villagers are elsewhere now. Well, not the two in the hole, but still. I think we need 15 villagers in the hole to get it generating golems. Hmm. All right. Well, so. then we need to work harder to make sure they have nowhere to go. I guess. Yeah, I'm taking down uh, everything. I, I'm tearing down walls and building a brighter future. You know, with this pickaxe and violence. Yeah. Brighter futures through violence. A brighter future of villager enslavement. Yeah. Well, it's a brighter future for us. Yeah. Think of all the iron golems we'll have. Oh, but, um... Oh, God. I hope they're not all dead already. Well, if they are, we just have to draw some villagers over from another village. Do you guys breed in here by anyone? Or let me check. No? All right. I should put a light in there, actually. So stuff doesn't spawn on top of them? Yeah. All right, well, there's nothing in there. Well, we might eventually have to build a train system to bring villagers in. Mm. Which is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, all these houses around here are empty. Interesting. Except for this one, which has a zombie in it. Okay. Then again, I suppose if we uh, were smart about it, we could find or use the zombies to lead us to villagers. Like this one over here, who's bouncing into a door repeatedly. Yeah, there's a lot of them over this way. But that's a little far from the hole. So, I think what we'd have to do... There's no way... You can't lure villagers with a carrot, which is a shame. <laughs> I wish you could. And again, no leashes either. Yeah, ow. Ow. Fuck you, skeleton. There's a random villager. And there's a random creeper. Yeah, actually take down that wall. I hope that was nothing important. But Alright, so. There's a villager who's just running in circles repeatedly. I really want to punch you. I do. 
In the dick? Yep. Ow. Stupid skeletons. I love how the villagers just start losing their minds at night. Well, it's dark out. Yeah, this way, villager. Come on. There's a strange, strange house right over here for you. Let me see if I can make it more tantalizing to you. Okay, he disappeared completely. Ah, oh, well. He, did he die? No, he ran into this. Okay. Villagers are randomly reappearing. Okay, works for me. Well, nobody ever said stuff made sense. So the trick is going to be getting them within range of that particular um, shark penis. Mm -hmm. uh, villager trap. Which is like a shark's penis. Probably. Alright, so if I... Alright, I guess I'll head back to our house so, uh... We can sleep through the evening. Was... Uh. Where are those apples? Damn it. There we go. I think you, you drew the attention of a skeleton. I really drew the attention of a lot of things. I came, uh... Running back here at full force. This damn zombie. I don't know if... The problem is I don't know if villagers view double doors as being a form of... Door. Door, yeah. All right, well, head back. put another door on a different face. I did. Oh. I'm hoping that'll help. So. <coughs> The only other option for moving villagers to and from here would be flumes or um, minecarts. And these are all things we actually could accomplish, alarmingly. Yeah. The I'm minecarts really... would be difficult, though, because we have no starter rails for them. How in the hell did he come out of that building? I guess he was probably standing on this block. You know, I'm going to erase that block. Hmm. I don't think it worked properly. I wonder if there... Yeah, there's got to be a way to lure villagers towards things. Can I push you? Yeah, I can. Let's try pushing you towards it. Over there. Let me try... Because this can be functional if boring. Uh, well, that's our game. Functional if boring. Yeah. Come on, you squid-faced dickhead. Uh, you dick-faced squid-head? Either works, actually. It's gonna take doors down. I think that disables them as counting as houses, because they have to have a door, a window, and a roof. I told you to take the doors off. Well, you told... Yeah, you did. You told me to do that exactly, so now I'm doing it. Shut up. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to push the villagers closer to uh, that house. If they would stop walking into this hole in the ground, that would be lovely. No, they're fine. <clears throat> Probably. So. Uh, Alright. Well, there's this villager in that hole. Giggity. Alright, so. Let me see. There's. This is coming down. So, I had. One of those moments where. And I'm sure you go through this a lot. Where Somehow there was a shop in this town that we hadn't emptied yet. Well, it's a bit disorienting, let's be honest. Okay, up the stairs.